Hello, and welcome. Today, I'm going to walk you through in completing an application. To begin the application process, you must first complete the questionnaire to determine your initial eligibility. Afterwards, you will be prompted to enter your first name, last name, and email. Once you click Create Account, you will be sent to the six-digit code verification screen. You should have received an email once you click the Create Account button. But if you have yet to receive it in your inbox, please wait up to five minutes. Then check your spam or junk folder if you still have not yet received it. If you have yet to receive your six-digit code, you can click the Resend code to receive another. Once you have that, please enter the most recent code you have received. Now you are on your application dashboard. The application process is done linearly, meaning you must complete the previous section before moving on to the next. If you ever have any questions regarding your application, please do not hesitate to use the message center in the top right corner to inquire for more information. Beginning with the applicant or tell us about you section, this includes all of your information. You must enter all information on the page that has a red asterisk icon next to it before you can save your data and move on to the next section. Something to note for later, your property address may give you two or more options for the address you entered. If you are given an option for a suggested address and it is your correct property address, then it is recommended to select that address as it can accelerate the review process for your application. Moving on to the next section, co-applicant has similar information requirements as the applicant. There are a few different questions, however, such as if the co-applicant lives in the property, as well as what the relationship to the homeowner is. You may have noticed a green check mark for household earlier. The reason for that is it automatically adds the applicant to this section. The same applies for the co-applicant if you marked that they also live in the property. You can also enter additional household members here and fill in their required data. Next is the loan section. You can add loans and select the lender on your loan with the Dropbox. You can also enter all the information that you have about your loan below. Assistance relates to the assistance you are applying for. To select your assistance, just click the edit button and click the check mark boxes next to your assistance. The financials tab is where you can enter all financials for your household. Select which household member you are reporting the financials for, the category of their income, frequency, and how much they are making in relation to that frequency. You can also add a description for the income in case you would like to add notes for reviewers or yourself to further distinguish or explain that income. Following finances is hardship. This is where you are selecting what hardships you are applying with as well as an explanation or reasons for your hardship. Documents is the second to last requirement before you are able to complete your application. If you are unsure what documentation to upload, there is a description under the title and sometimes a template of a document to download and fill out that is located next to the upload button. You can then upload all the required documentation using that upload button. Finally, you are ready to sign. Be warned that you are not able to go back and edit any existing information after clicking the Send Documents button. So it is important to review your application before sending. Once you click the Send Documents button, you will see a yellow check mark next to Signatures. That means you should have received documents in your email to sign and attest to your full application. Once you complete your signature as the applicant, the documents will be sent to the co-applicants if you entered their information to be signed as well. Congratulations, you have completed your application and now have access to see the status of your application. You will always have the ability to upload additional documentation at a reviewer's request and are able to speak to them using the message center. If you have any questions, please reach out to someone using the message center or give them a call. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.